Hey guys, BBI here. I want to stop and say thanks. Thanks for tuning in and checking out whatever the video is about that's about ready to come up next. If you could take a minute and hit subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here, make sure to hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Anyhow, guys, all that aside, let's get on with the show. Well, perhaps I better start from here. So Palomar Elite 600. First off, let me say, if you're just tuning in, and this is your first time watching this crazy train I call my J-O-B, um, I want to say welcome. And if you are a repeat offender, this is the term that I like to use, if you're tuning in to follow along with what's going on it means your hair has grown gray with me and you've gotten smarter in the in the passage of time just like i have as well and you understand that this is from a multi-part series you guys are going to get this by the time we get done this is a palomar 600 and it's owned by a friend of mine called mr v mr v went out and bought himself a dna phantom that wasn't really worth getting into it's not worth us investing our time into to do the repair on and he doesn't want to spend the money on it to get it fixed but right after he bought that phantom he went on a crazy buying spree and bought a whole bunch of little you know little boxes like this and he wanted me to go through all of them evaluate them do the repairs and mods and upgrades to them i saw fit and then get rid of them so we're going to take on each one of these things individually on their own on their own legs um, these are going to be short, quick, and to-the-point videos because I've got a lot of ground to cover and I'll have a lot of time to stand around and talk. So, let's break it open. Let's go ahead and let's pop this lid off here real quick. This is my Christmas gift from my wife, one of them. Another one was an awesome chair with the company logo on it my fat ass sat in and promptly broke but it's okay Ooh, what do we got in here what do we got in here what do we got in here oh, luck of the draw this thing might actually work this has got srf 3749 motorola transistors so 100 watt transistors times four roughly an average and it's being driven by a single mrf 455 we have no magic 10 ohm smoke released we are missing a 10 ohm smoke resistor over here, which is not uncommon. Um, guys, got to remember these were truck stop amplifiers. What do I mean by that? They were literally produced the cheapest that they possibly could be made and then sold for the literally cheapest amount of money that they could get for them. And the whole idea was well, when these things went bad, you would not invest a single one hot minute into fixing this. You would take it and throw it in the trash and go buy another one. The guys that built this thing are probably sitting there laughing to this day. Oh my God, I can't believe people are still investing in energy and getting those repaired. It is what it is. It's a very basic amplifier. Got a power switch, high, medium, and low, and a preamp on it. Um, they claim auto sideband. It is not. This is a Class C box. This is something you'd want to run on AM only. But it is a one drive and four. And with the right amount of voltage on it, we should be able to get about the 600 watts out of it. I don't see any of the classic Palomar signs, which your classic Palomar has usually got all the input attenuators completely burn up and they've been replaced two or three times over. Um, the driver pill has usually been redone about a million times. This thing actually looks to be in really good shape. Even the output balancing resistors are in good shape. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hook it up. I don't see anything in here that's going to make me go, Oh God, it's definitely going to catch on fire. I don't see that. I don't see any of the signs. So, now, as always... 
we will be giving it a power wire upgrade and we'll be going through it top to bottom. But right now, we're just gonna hook it up so we can run it. Okay. <sighs> Do -do -do. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Boy, I wouldn't necessarily call those bad, but I would definitely call those heavily loaded. So, this thing has been hooked up backwards, or is all smoky smoked. It is not worth the time to repair. We got 12 volt there. 12 volt there. Nothing on the output side. Switch is bad. Seriously? No. 12 volt going in, nothing coming out. Okay. Still don't have power on. Okay, let's get into the meat of it here real quick. So, let's just quickly see if it works. That's the question. So we took a pair of alligator clips and we jumpered over the on-off switch. Power on. Peak kit on, we're on 1x is a thousand watt, thousand watt, and five watt slug. Alright, so we're seeing 500 out of it. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two. Hello. Hello. So let's see here. Low, hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Medium, hello, one, two, one, two. And high, hello, one, two. So we're seeing about 500 watts out of it. No preamp, preamp is in op, which doesn't surprise me since the preamp derives its power from our on off switch. Preamp is working. This is a faceplate interface problem, which we're going to endeavor to fix. It's a Palomar 900. Main difference is a little tiny bit more heatsink, and Toshiba's in it. Um, this is a deal where a guy went in here and he took a screwdriver and started totally farting around with the bias. This control pot here and blew all the transistors out of his box by putting a full volt and a half on the input. Killed all the 455s and four Toshibas, but that's not why we're here today. I'm here to scavenge two of these on off switches out of here. Because the only thing that's wrong with this guy is the on off switch and the preamp switch. God bless you Palomar for making your hole punch standards the same and the switch is the same. Let me do this real fast. They're both lit. This one's just real dim. Um, let's see here. 
Hello, one, two, one, two, okay. Hello. All right. That's all working. So, two new switches on the front. Fully functional. Now let's do some power wire upgrades to it. So, power wire upgrades are in. We're getting about eh, 400 and some change out of it, almost 500 watts. Um, before the power wire upgrades. Let's go see what we got for our final test results here. Hello. I woke it up a bunch. Hello. About 600 and some change. Hello. One, two. Hello. One, two. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello. So about 625 watts total of this little guy on high. And of course, that's hitting it with a whole whopping. Hello, one, two, one, two. About 20 watts in the input, 20, 25 watts. So. We're really asking a lot out of these these four little transistors taking into account they're only a couple hundred watts a piece where is the directly from my daughter the non goth queen goth queen fingernail polish and we do this for two reasons to keep people's little dick beaters off adjusting the knobs and two, for us to be able to see if somebody has put their little dick beaters in there and adjusted the knobs. So what you gotta do is you gotta take your screwdriver, you gotta break the paint to adjust the, the screw. It shows up, it's kinda like a proof mark. This thing is set up right now At a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're looking at this watt meter, by the way. That's a five watt slug in reverse um, in between the radio and this Palomar. Hello, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh, what oh. So that tells me that the input tune on this thing is perfect. Hello, BBI got down. Okay. Just wanted to show you the relay working. Full power wire upgrades, on off switch, on off knobs, switches replaced. Everything's working on this thing just the way it would. Factory better, more better than factory. Um, I think five hundred fifty dollars plus the ride is a fair deal for this. It's a square deal. And that's where we're going to sit. Now, guys, this is a series, so I've got a bunch more of these to go. And I mean a bunch. If you guys watch the first portion of this series, you'll see how many I have. So how this works, 550, first one to call me, plus the ride, gets it. Done deal, end of conversation, on its way to you. It's that simple. And if the video is labeled sold, that means it has been sold and it's no longer here, so please don't bother calling to find out. On that note, I'm gone. I'm gonna put the lid on this thing. I'm gonna put it up in the house, put a post-it on it so I know what I did to it and what we've got into it for money. And I am down the road. Gentlemen, on to the next one. I thank every single one of you for tuning in and following along. I will see you, goodbye.